what's going on guys welcome back to the channel critical overlord here we're gonna be talking about a few different horror topics in this video here today we'll be talking about friday the 13th crystal lake a24 show we'll be talking about the strangers and why there seems to be more reason for concern with that trilogy and we'll round it out by talking about the x franchise so a24 had reportedly pulled the plug on Crystal Lake, according to Jeff Snyder. And at the time of that reporting, it was unclear if it was a permanent decision or not. Now, again, Jeff Snyder has proven himself to be reliable in the past, so I'm not trying to come on here and give him any flack. He's been right a bunch of times, just as much as, again, you've found instances where he's been wrong. I don't like to say that he's going out of his way to be wrong, because it doesn't appear that he is with how many times he's been right. However, what we did end up getting today is a report from Bloody Disgusting saying that their sources have stated that A24 has not killed off Crystal Lake at this time. And what they have confirmed is that the show is still happening, but there's some retooling of the project happening behind the scenes. We're digging for more info and they said stay tuned. All I can say is, Jason, my special, special boy, you just seem to be cursed. The franchise seems to be cursed at this point, but at least you aren't entirely dead yet, I guess. Production on this show was supposed to kick off sometime this year. It was reported to be the summer. Brian Fuller, we know, was involved. I'm curious to see if that behind-the-scenes retooling has to do with Brian Fuller being removed because of that debacle that went on last year with Fuller. Kevin Williamson, we know, was supposed to be involved. Adrian King was supposed to be involved. Don Mancini was rumored to be involved. All of this has just been a mess as far as like getting something positive with this show outside of just the fact that we know it's at least still happening. So hopefully Jason can get his time in the sun sooner rather than later like Michael Myers and hopefully shortly behind him will be Freddy Krueger. But we'll have to just wait and see how all of that will fare out for Mr. Voorhees and Camp Crystal Lake. Now, we're going to talk about The Strangers. So a four hour cut of The Strangers this trilogy all three movies in one could be coming apparently and the strangers trilogy continues to not be strange as we are set to find out who Tamara is during this trilogy now this all came from a variety interview madeline pesh also revealed the fate of her character in part one which i think had already been revealed previously by rennie harlan himself so she says throughout every step of the next two films it's just how is she going to get out of this terror terrorizing situation and it's not necessarily all only home invasion, but they continue to invade her life in any way possible, even in ways you don't think are possible. They're doing something effed up. We already bend the rules or we're really bending the rules a lot, which is fun. This Variety article also again confirmed we are going to find out Tamara, who Tamara is. And Harlan spends some time in this article hyping up wanting to do a four hour cut release of the film. You know, I again have to stress, execution is everything, but if they spoon feed us too much info, then you have ruined the strangers in my eyes. I'm all for us leaving it up to my interpretation, audience interpretation, but now I know we're going to find out who Tamara is, and I don't trust that this will be a very subtle unraveling of these characters, or exploration of these characters, I should say. The strangers by the end of the trilogy likely will not be strange at all, and by the end me many other horror fans are probably going to say you guys just missed the mark and completely misunderstood that original movie as much as it's clear you love it depending on how you execute these three movies it is going to raise the question you loved it but did you understand it because why did you tell us all of this stuff and then it just completely sucked up the mystique of those characters and it drew away the point of what made that original so scary it all comes down to execution if they can subtly just leave everything up to us for interpreting and how we think it is without saying it's exactly 100 percent this it's 100 percent that this that and the third if everything can somehow be left up to interpretation outside of finding out who Tamara is i don't imagine that's going to be left up to interpretation then i could see this being forgivable but exploring the strangers in a way where everything is definitive, that could backfire on you very badly. Could be a very bad idea. The last thing we're going to talk about here is going to be Maxine. Well, actually, no. Before I even get into Maxine, apparently, The Strangers Chapter 2, we've talked about this before. Rennie Harlan in this Variety article also stated that The Strangers Chapter 2 is going to arrive sometime in September or October with part three arriving sometime early next year. So we'll see how this trilogy plays out. It doesn't really sound like it's going to go down the right path, but we have to see the movie first because these clips that have been coming out 
one in specific with the nail and them being under the floorboards that was really good that was a I, I said it was better than the trailer i still stand by that so the movie could end up being very good but maybe it's just misunderstanding the whole point of the strangers that's i think that's a fair assessment to make so far about this trilogy with all of the comments that keep coming out surrounding it last thing we're going to talk about here is maxine so ty west he's the future of the x franchise after Maxine in a new interview with EW, he said after Maxine, this will probably be the end of the Maxine era, but there's a chance the films could expand beyond a trilogy. I do have one idea that plays into these movies that could maybe happen. He said, I don't know if it'll be next. It might be. We'll see. I'll say that if there if there's more to be done in this X franchise, it's certainly not what people are expecting it to be. It's not just picking up again a few years later and whatever. It's different in the way that Pearl was an unexpected departure. It's another unexpected departure. Yes, I have no idea what he could be doing, because like I said before, I was going down the rabbit hole of we're just going to see the fall of Maxine. We saw her rise. Now we're going to see her fall. So that's what I was expecting. So if it's not what we're expecting, I have no idea what he could have to offer. But I am more than confident that it's going to be a fun affair, just like how I know Maxine is undoubtedly going to be a fun affair. I have been hyping it up for you guys. I told you about it. The trailer only hyped you guys up more. I hope all of you enjoy it when it drops. We'll just have to wait and see what this film ends up being like for everyone when it drops in july doesn't it come out on what the fifth so we also got these cool images that you see or that you have been seeing coming across your screen sophie thatcher's little cameo that i hyped up talking about how she had a small role as a vfx artist all of that's been confirmed i've talked about for months how elizabeth debecky i think she's actually starring in the film as a woman named debecky talked about for months how she's playing a director in the film of the puritan all of that got confirmed by the steals the entertainment weekly report and of course the confirmation surrounding the night stalkers involvement all of that was in this interview which was nice to see because again i've been hyping this up so much for you guys over the past months it's nice to have things confirmed and no longer just be rumors even though i already trusted it because the person who told me about all of that stuff has been very reliable in the past but let me know what you guys think about all of this down in the comment section below if you haven't already of course make sure you subscribe turn on post notification you never miss video in the description i'll have links on my social media accounts i'm on facebook twitter and instagram you can message me there of course to let me know if there are any movies news or reviews you would like me to cover in the future and with all that in mind guys i will see you in the next video